Hi, in this video you'll see how to work in Articulate Storyline and rotate a meter needle about the middle of the meter instead of the middle of the needle. So I've just got some objects set up on this slide. Let me show you what would normally happen by default either in Storyline or in PowerPoint. I've just got a group of objects here for the meter needle and if I drag the green rotation handle the needle rotates around the middle of the needle which obviously isn't what we want. Let's just go to the next slide. By the addition of a shape that's set up in a particular way that I'll show you in just a minute, now when I select the object and drag the green handle what we get is a proper rotation around the middle of the meter which obviously is much more desirable. And like in PowerPoint, when in Storyline, if you hold down the Shift key while you're rotating, the shape will snap to 15 degree increments. So we've got 12.30 on the hour hand here, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, and so on. I'll just undo that with Control z So let me show you how I set that up. Let's go to the third copy of the slide. Now this slide is based on one that David Anderson from Articulate used in a great set of tutorial videos where he showed you how to set up this meter needle and use it on a quiz results slide. But in one of the videos it showed how tricky it can be when the needle rotates around its middle instead of around the end, it can be quite fiddly to get the meter needle in the right position and at the right angle at the same time. So there can be a bit of toing and froing there. So let me just show you how to create this extra shape. I'll just go to the Insert tab, choose a shape. I'm going to use a rectangle for this, for this guide shape you might call it. You could use a circle or some other shape. You just need to ensure that you drag around the whole needle or other object that you want to rotate. And also the second criterion for this shape you create is that its center will be the center of the rotation for the needle. So therefore I want to go on and make this rectangle center about where the, the center of the meter is. So I'll just let go on that. Now if I double click the shape, I'll just make it clear. Click Shape Fill and No Fill. And Shape Outline and No Outline, just so it can see what's going on. And yet people who view the slides at the end won't be able to see this guide shape. Now I'll just drag it into place. In Articulate and in more recent versions of PowerPoint 2, you've probably seen these guidelines that appear as you're dragging a shape. I'll just drag it over to the right. I've got the center line there to show it's at the right level. Now that guideline that's popped up that's vertical is indicating that the center of the rectangle I've drawn is actually aligned with the right edge of the grey shape. So I'll just drag back to the left a couple of pixels. And now I've got the dotted line, dotted vertical align, appearing in the middle of the little grey shape, which is just where I want it. So now this rectangle is lined up perfectly with the middle of the dial. Now you might have noticed on the timeline at the bottom, we've only actually got two objects on the slide here apparently. So there's the rectangle I just drew, and then there's the oval as well, which is just this little grey centre for the meter needle. The reason that is, is that the rest of the objects, the background of the meter and the needle itself, are over on the States tab. So what I'll do, I'll just select this rectangle that we've centred correctly as a guide shape, and I'll just cut it out. Control X. Now I'll select the oval and then when I go to the States tab I've got all these other settings that David set up on his slide. I'll just double click the normal state here to edit that and then 
with control V I'll paste in the shape that I drew now what I want to do is just the guide shape there that I've pasted in I'll group that with the needle so I'll just drag from the background of the slide to include the whole rectangle and the needle within it and now right click on the rectangle and choose group and group so now when I drag the green dot to rotate the needle rotates around the middle of the meter just what we want and if we come over here to on the format tab in the size section we click this little button here we'll get the size and position dialog box I'll just drag that out of the way so we can see what we're doing we want to set the rotation in David's example he used 36 degrees for each increment so I'll type 36 and just press tab so that the dialog box stays open and there we have it needle at 36 degrees for the next increment so that would be in the second state here we would use 72 degrees so I'll just type 72 and press tab and there you go that's how you'd rotate the needle around the center of the meter to a particular degree or just by dragging the free rotate handle we can rotate it smoothly or with the shift key held down we get it snapping to those 15 degree increments so I hope you find that handy and thanks very much for watching if you look below the video there'll be links to the other videos I've mentioned in this clip as well as my blog post about this thanks again for watching see you next time